So first, what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens when we have pesticides in the farm. Now, what, what are pesticides? You guys know what pesticides are? No. They're things that harm the water. They harm the water. Pesticides are actually chemicals that we use to, we spray in our food so bugs don't eat our food, but it's actually not really good for the water. Oh, look. Is it all going down? How will we clean all of that up? Oh, it's not going to be hard. I'm in second grade and I had a really great time doing this. And we're also learning about the watershed. Like, we're learning about how floods can happen and how different pesticides can actually end up in the water we drink. Hi, I am Lauren Broderick. I am a children's instructor at the San Marcos Nature Center. Uh, the San Marcos Nature Center is part of the city of San Marcos. It's a nonprofit organization that uh, promotes education and knowledge about the natural resources to this area. I've been very fortunate that the center's here. I'm actually a student at Texas State, a senior, and I'm getting my degree in biology. So this place has been a perfect internship, kind of getting a general idea of how this is going to work. And what a great thing is about this place is having the, these children's programs and activities is I get kind of a feel of how my degree will work and how I will fit into this. And one of the particular programs, the after school program, is when we have the kids after, after their school hours, um, starting at 3.30, come in and we get to kind of teach them a little bit more about the activities and things, resources around this area, but while we teach them, we get to have fun with them. And that's very important. Um, we learned what happened if um, we had construction or there was erosion and what the water would be like and what happens to our drinking water and to the water for all the other animals and things like that. And we learned about pollution and um, if we rip up all the trees and all the grass and build strip malls, what happens? And it's not the best. So for the kids to be able to see that and to actually physically have a hand in getting a, the actual grasp of that concept has been really neat. So, so that's the main goal of the center is when people walk through those do the doors in, they get to have fun and learn things and they walk out, they know more than what they came in.